Hello everyone, Mari here with another Let's Play. I'm back with episode 3 of Stories Untold. I was a little disappointed with part 2, but I'm hopeful again for part 3, so let's jump in and do that. Episode 3, The Station Process. If you find yourself stuck, try to look around for clues. I'll be looking. I will be looking. Station 3, do you read me? Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. <sighs> Come on, 3. Log in. Quit fucking around. Okay. Logging in. And wow, some, some language here. There he is. Finally, what took you? Is the microphone still stuck breaking in the station three? What? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, you can't reply. You should be able to hear you though. Can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. We can chat later, three. Yeah, this is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? Well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two. You need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on oh, the microfilm. It will walk just you through it. Decode and process. I've okay. never done any of this stuff, so I'm not gonna be much help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay, first one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't fuck it up. Wow. That's not very nice. Alright, what is this? Can I read this? Alright. Click and drag, type, case sensitive, tab to move. Sometimes you press other keys. <laughs> that is the most helpful help I've ever seen. Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Oh, thanks. Transmission broadcast frequency, 1930. 1930. Okay. Oh. Oh, it had buttons. That's nice. Good to know. Thirteen, zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. Did I do it? Thirteen, oh. zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. Nine, three. Is that it? Is that my job? Thirteen, going good. Zero, yes. Fourteen, fourteen, nine, Agnes. three. What do I do with that? Anachronistic technology. Oh. 
Version handbook. Okay. Oh, that's blurry. Okay. Hmm. I'm supposed to be able to read that? It's so tiny. of this callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines into terminal and execute. Uh, input terminal code, hitting enter at the end of each line, type execute to run the program. Um, so that's system.exe, switch D, switch E. says no. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stopped. So I think he did it right. Well, thank you. Did Next right. one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. But I know we have to make them top priority, or I'll get shit. Of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? It's fantastic. So, 3,500. Oh, that's so much easier than what I've been doing. Look at this. Okay. 
On receipt of this callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal, substituting any dynamic variables, and execute. I have to substitute the variables? Okay. Variable replacement, oh, where x equals second, y equals fifth, and z equals sixth number from the broadcast code. Second, fifth, and sixth. Just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Getting the hang of it, huh? Yes. Next one coming up. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, now this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen, let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team, and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Always good. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal, and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. Do I have to look at this first? Uh, wow. Okay. Should I have read this? We thank you. We at the Central Monitoring Division would first like to thank you for agreeing to commit to a year's service at your remote monitoring station. Let's get a little less blurry. The work you do here is of vital importance to the national security and something of our great nation. While you may never receive the explicit gratitude of our citizens, we will always be indebted to you. Operator Roll. An operator at one of our remote monitoring stations will be responsible for the following duties. 
the daily monitoring, uh, specified radio frequencies, and something input of test data in a timely manner. This, yeah, this none of this is important. Something about the 14th and 15th molar teeth? <laughs> what? Okay. A. Yeah, I thought this sounded like Morse, but it really kind of doesn't. So, 20, maybe it's phonetic? To the appendices. Too much? Does that help me at all? No, I don't think so. Oh, Morse numbers, which I was not familiar with. Notes. I'm gonna write some notes. What is this? I'm write on this. I'm gonna write on this. Oh, you know what? The second eight. Oh, and those aren't eights. They're zeros. Gosh, I cannot see. All right, so zero, zero. Wait. Here right now. It's definitely zero, nine, seven, seven, three, zero. Okay, I got it this time. I'm positive. Zero, nine, seven, seven, three, zero. Zero, seven, Zero. Wow. Zero nine seven seven three zero. Enter. There we go. Kansas. Uh. Okay. Turn it not that direction. And we gotta go to Kansas. following lines, substituting any dynamic variables, and execute. Point dot package dot exe. Paint point dot package dot exe. I didn't look at what x actually stands for in this scenario. Oh, just ex, okay where X is the largest number from the original broadcast, which I know was nine. So that I can do. Put a nine in there. Okay. Enter. Ah, capital P's too, gotta fix that, okay. Point dot package dot EX, Y, where Y is the smallest number from the original broadcast, which was zero. Capital P. Dot EX. Put a 
zero in here. Correct that. Uh, the gameplay on this one so far, compared to episode two, is better. But I'm also just a big fan of Morse code, so... you think I'd know how to read it. Um, Sal, switch A, switch, 4G. been fired by now. Capital G. Okay, that needs to stop. And G. Maybe? Good. Alright. Okay, one, we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen. I just checked the roster and we were supposed to hear from the supply team three days ago. But I've had nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three, can you monitor a range for me? They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supplies for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'd be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Is any of this eight, important? eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. She said FM, right? Answer me. <laughs> okay. Nope. Nope. No, no. Get back to your desk. Okay. So somewhere between eight and eight and a half thousand FM. Okay, somewhere between eight and eight and a half thousand? Okay, yeah. All right. I've almost got it right here. I'm looking for? Oh, it's getting clearer. Three. Eight to eight and a half thousand FM. Do I'm it. Doing 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 it. It's not yet known if the anomaly is still moving with weather systems. So there was that one in the 400s. If that's not the message I was looking for, I'm gonna keep searching. Oh my god, that's them. This is a distress signal from supply vessel 20F. Please respond. Someone answer them. Is anyone there? I... Can I? We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. We have some on board, but it's not enough. We try to turn back, but storm, or them, Mess with our GPS. What the earth is he talking about? We're hold up here. We just got word from Central that New York has fallen. Everyone's gone there now. I thought us being so remote would give us time, maybe, but uh, I can see them coming. Be ready, all of you. It's 20 of them. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, too. Three, do the same. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabin. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? 
Just do it. They're here. Ugh! Who are they? Shit, one, there's another GCS signal coming in. Do we do we process it still? Yeah. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. It was three last time. It's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just process the signals. That's it in. Alright. Just keep working, I guess. Seventy. Six nine seventy. Yeah, let's be. Lulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Notes. <laughs> My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Echo. My. Zulu. I don't know what Sierra. the first one is saying. It's either Hotel. might, night, or light. Bravo. This is Mancy Echo. all over again. Okay. I'll figure out what that means. I'm guessing that's in the, the second appendix. That's what that was used for. The appendices! Okay. So let me flip it this way to see. <laughs> that, that was a bit too much. Okay. Quickly look through. Uh huh. None of those words were said. <laughs> Great. So. Am I on 6970? I am. Okay, so yeah, I'm thinking the right thing. So, the first one was the letter... <laughs> L, M, or N. <laughs> so, it was one of those. Um, uh, so, let's look over at the next part. Under 19. Or er, six nine seventy. Um, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, C at sixty nine seventy is two. S is twenty one. H is on the other page, but then I have to come back for. No, they're all on the other page. All right. H. 10. B. 4. And E. 7. possibly go wrong if I get it incorrect. So... Two, two, one, one, zero, four, seven. That's a lot of numbers. I don't think this is right. Really? Ha! Great. Centaur. The mighty mythological beings. Uh, nope. Wrong button. Zoom out, focus out, go up so we can see the top. Jennifer Hong, up. Oh. Yep. Okay. Spinny, spinny. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, so I'm just gonna save some time and sketch this down because my memory is. Not too fantastic right now. So here we go. Notes. I like when games make me write notes. It feels like I'm playing Mist again. M status. Switch R. This might be cheating, but. Command. 
T. String switch Z. H. Grid. Capital W. Here we go. Um, substituting any variables, but there's no variables to speak of, so this should be pretty straightforward. So line one. That's the only thing I see that I could have done wrong. There we go. Lower KC. Three. There's something. I don't know what I'm looking at. Cabling? One, I can see something above three's cabin. One of the power what? lines down. One, are you there? Where are you? Oh, oh you got me. <laughs> What is there? Fuck. What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, Juan. What's going on? It's above me. Shit. It's above me. It's over station 3 too. They're here. What's here? Jesus, Juan, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. He's offline. Shit. Here's another signal. What? GCF7 We just lost number one. one. V5 M1. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. Oh, one's gone, honey. We've lost him. Okay. USB. Eight, one, fifty. Nope, nope. One, eight, nine. Zero, four, five. Nine, zero, four. One, eight, nine, zero. Okay. What do I do with that? <laughs> One, eight, nine, zero, four, five? What do I do with that? Enter it into the thing? <laughs> I know how to play the game. Sacrifice. That's foreboding. Um. Suit guys, are any of you walking around in that storm? That's crazy. No. You'll get yourself killed. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. Sacrifices right after Jennifer. There we go. Okay, this one does have variables. Yeah, I'm gonna write this down again. Save save everybody's time. Okay. R O T dot X variable X. Three. Number station three. This is station four. Do not go outside. Don't go out there. You got Stay it. inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. I don't want anything to do with what's going on out there. I'm just gonna be in here doing my little codes. Point one. Let's see. Okay, where X is numbers one, two, and three from the code represent a longitude. Numbers four, five, and six Guys, represent I'm a latitude. Guys, I'm shutting down station five and getting the fuck out of here. They took six. Station six is fucking gone. Those things six just ripped gone. it out of the ground. Authorization word from Appendix C. Represent a latitude? Okay, so one, two, and three from the original broadcast represent a longitude. So X equals one, 
8, 9, y equals 0, 4, 5, and authorization word from appendix C. So let's go take a look at that appendix, shall we? To the appendices, yet again. Okay, so here we are at, are we at the appendice? What is this? I've lost it. Closing appendix, D. oh, there's an appendix D? I didn't even see that in the, what is this? Wait, what? Opens to verbal command, speech, or shout. Obeys commands for movement. Is this gonna matter to me in a moment, or is that just... Oof, okay. For now, we're looking at this. Turn it a little bit. Get it nice and centered. Okay. So the signal modulation was USB. The broadcast frequency was 8150. Process total of broadcast numbers. Well, it was certainly not greater than 30. So over here, Alexander. Okay. Cool. Um, so, does the fact that X and Y are longitudes and latitudes matter to me at all, or do I just enter them as they are? Because I think I just enter them as they are. So let's try this. So the rotation... Huh. I wonder what this is gonna do. It's, it's at the point in the game where crazy stuff starts to happen. I like that part. Activate Y at 0, 4, 5. And Alexander. Let's see. Good? No. Uh, but, but, meh. Oh, you know what? I didn't add in the rest of the... Ha! The, the actual code part to... I think I read it right. I think that... This time I got it. <laughs> there it is. Okay, now what's gonna happen? Three. James, the last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. No, we're not supposed to go outside. No, no, Please, no, no, no. James, I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm no. trapped. You'll still no. be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have do I have to like control and run around or is this a cutscene? Just got dragged outside. Oh. Oh. oh man, I don't like this. to go up or I have to go no I have to make it to her cabin and help her right okay I'm holding shift like it's it doesn't work in this game no sprint mode Why did whatever dragged me out there just leave me there? Going up 
here, I guess. You can do it! Come on, mate. There we go. <laughs> I'm definitely more interested in this episode than the last one, so... They're pleasing me again, this is good. The jump scares were way better in this one. so far. Whew. Any actual chills? <laughs> Alright, so here I am. I can't help but feel like I, I was supposed to, like, make note of something else in my office before I came out to do this, and I'm just gonna be in trouble now. I don't know where I'm going. Is that it? This looks important. Maybe. Okay. I did that. Can I go in here? Cable, I guess. Ooh, what is that? I hear something. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Uh... Start pushing buttons. Okay. Flip, flip, flip. Got it. back there. Let's see. Please. 
James. Go to them. Tell them what happened. Mr. Ames, there. Can you hear me? Wait. Welcome back. That was the bedroom from the house abandoned. Are these stories all connected in actuality? Huh. Hmm. Okay. I'm quite pleased, I must say, with this episode again. It got me back to you know, being super excited about the series, so I'll be gladly playing the last episode at some point soon. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I'll see you next time.